What's up guys, Brandon here with Outdoor Home, stay at home, live cooking show. Today we are going to do a beer butt chicken with a little garlic and herbs. And uh, this is one of my favorites, one of the best things you can do on an egg in my opinion. The indirect cooking just takes care of chicken in a way that uh, I don't think you can get a, a result on similar on other uh, grills. So obviously we have uh, beer, we're, we're using a a uh, domestic lager. I won't say which one, but you can use your favorite. Um, it's what I had laying around. Don't judge me. Uh, I do prefer, actually, if I can get it, a little more of a of a hefty, maybe even a little hoppier beer. Just I like that taste that comes through. The taste uh, uh, sticks around. But hey, this will do the job of uh, creating moisture and tenderness, and uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, contraption I'm using here. This replaces the good old fashioned. Um, large beer can, which we can only presume saves us from chemical toxins. And uh, personally, I think it's a lot more convenient. So you're not trying to stack the beer can, it doesn't fall over. And I think I think the idea of the design here is that the, the holes allow it to aerate a little bit more into the chicken. So we have our grill here. I'm trying to get it back down to about 400. We're going to go ahead and we've closed it down almost. So it's going to come back down. Um, but we're going to put it on at 400. And I'm not doing a smoked chicken today. I'm just doing good old fashioned roasting. Um, I, uh, uh, we're going a little bit more of a savory flavor than we are smoky. Smoking chicken awesome, is also a, obviously a good way to do it, which we would bring it more down to the 250 range and have some smoking woods in there. But we're ripping and roaring at about 400. And uh, we've got our, our beverage safely in the receptacle. And so I'm just going to open this up and think what we're going to do because um, we don't have the ceiling space here is pull out our expander set this over here and we'll just use this like it's supposed to be used you can put it on before or you can uh, put it on after, but we're just going to set it like this. And I actually, um, we're using Smokin' Bob's um, chicken. We'll put the link to that down here in the in the comments. Smokin' Bob's chicken rub. We'll just set them on there like that. I actually like to take the herbs when they're at this point because I can get them a little more even and make them stick. So they're not going to fall off. I've got a little butter basted on the bird here. And then at the top, even though I've got garlic under the skin, I'm going to put some garlic down in the cavity here as well. Got a few onion uh, slices up in the cavity as well. And um, that'll give it a nice buttery, brown, crispy uh, skin like we like. And just baste the bird. Um, you, can, you can inject it if you like. I didn't today. You can also... Um, brine it overnight, uh, maybe holds in a little moisture, but with the indirect cooking here and the the beverage, we probably will have a, a moist product as it is. So we're going to let that simmer and uh, we're going to go off live for just a second here while it gets up to temperature. And uh, in the meantime, maybe uh, pull up your favorite basting recipe and get started. Okay, we've had the chicken on for roughly 30, 45 minutes now, and uh, we actually let the temperature come down a little bit. It was um, it's getting just a little crispy on the skin, which is how I like it, but we didn't want to overcook it. And we should be sitting at right about 160 degrees in the middle of the breast there. Perfect, we're at 162. And so we're just gonna take this off the stand Put it straight on our cutting board here. We can smell really nice herb crust. You can see when I poke that, I don't know if you saw on the camera, but the juices are just flowing out of this bird. Very, very tender. Um, you've got some garlic pieces that are kind of roasted in there. So we'll let that cool. And then the, uh, 
the way we're going to carve this, uh, because I like to have uh, chicken around for several days, um, we're going to cut the breasts up and eat and serve those as just part of an entree. Then we're going to kind of pull the rest of the meat off and use it for sandwiches and maybe a salad later. Um, but that's it, guys, a roasted chicken. Easy peasy. Uh, promise you this is better than anything you'll pick up at a grocery store. And you had fun cooking it outside. Hopefully you're with your family like we are now. And, uh, yeah, what better time to do that? So enjoy. Try your own roasted chicken. I'm going to post the, the rub and the recipe and kind of the method here in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. One last look at the final product here. That is our herb crusted beer butt chicken. Enjoy.